So here we go then uh, at Swaffham Raceway for the All Cortina and All Capri We've got Martin Steenbeckers here today. Martin, looking forward to the day? Yeah, going to be great, I think. Last year I've uh, seen uh, the race here and I thought uh, I'm going to be there to, the, to be here today. So hopefully we're going to make a good crash. Going to be fun, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I hope so. Um, obviously, the car itself, tell us a bit about the past of it. Do you know where it's come from and how you come to get, a bit, get it? Now I, uh, I bought it in Holland for uh, 300 euros and I thought uh, it was a 1600 engine in it but when we took the cap off and I uh, saw it was a 2 litre so I have to build it uh, with a 1600 in it but uh, it's okay now and uh, I think it's a good car. The, rate, the meeting itself like you said you were here last year, is that what tempted you to take part this year? Yeah it was a good meeting and uh, lots of crashes and uh, that's what uh, we like and uh, don't like to race just to uh, crash. So hopefully we can make a good crash here and uh, we're going to make uh, a Best Entertainer award. Eh? You had a, uh, a superb meeting at the Extinction over at Kingslin yeah. earlier in the year. I'm sure uh, the fans could expect plenty of the same today. Yeah, they always expect from me that I'm going to make a good uh, crash, but uh, you never know. Maybe they're going to crash me, so I uh, <laughs> don't know for now. But when I have the chance, I will, uh, I will take him. I know, I know for sure. And I'm sure it's quite good fun coming over with your friends from mainland Europe. And I imagine you've had quite a few laughs on the way already. A few laughs? A few laughs. Uh, good time. Good time, yeah, yeah, yeah. We stay in a hotel and uh, make a good travel. Normally we go from uh, Hoek van Holland and it's a long trip on the boat. It's nice, but now we're coming from uh, Dover. So we have to a long stay in, in the lorry, but yeah, you have to do it. Eh? <laughs> well, Martin, we wish you all the best of luck for today. And uh, Martin, Steve Becker's there. I'm sure he's going to be out there to have a good crash this afternoon at Swaffham for the All Cortina and Capri meeting. And uh, you had a bit of a battle in the first couple of races. Uh, what's made you come back? For him. <laughs> I'll do. <laughs> Number 25, wasn't it? <laughs> it should be interesting, that is for sure. It's good to see you all out in force. You, you enjoyed the meeting last year, and obviously it's made you come back. So, same again. 
Aye, well, it's, this is my area. I've done this 20 years now, so these are the cars we used to pick up for a tenner or lift off the end of this road for, so it's what I started in, so. Ah, it's good, it's good. One car meetings are a good laugh once or twice a year. And the price of fuel and that, you can't get down the road as much now. So, when you get old shit like that, you just, well, sorry for the swearing, but uh, you get all crap like that, you just stick them in a corner until we got a meeting like this. So, aye, perfect. You can't take these out against Mondales and that, you just get spat all over. So, ah, it's good. Good weekend. And I imagine for the younger lads of the side, it's uh, good to show them a thing or two about how good the uh, racing is in rear wheel drive. Aye, ah, well, the other younger generation of banger drivers are sideways in Mondeos with a handbrake. You, know, you have to drive these cars, so aye, good. Aye. you got a couple of fans with you today, uh, sitting on the roof of the car, and uh, I'm sure they'll be cheering on Daddy today. Aye, guaranteed, my boys, aye. Aye, they've not been doing for a while, so aye, good. They've never been here before, so off them. Aye. Well, let's, let's have a quick chat with uh, both of them. What, what are you wanting Daddy to do today? Have a good crash. Anyone in particular, or is uh, just anyone will do? Uh, anybody. Enjoy watching him racing, first time at Swatham. G good track? Aye, it's good, aye. Uh, it looks good. And uh, yourself, young man, you looking forward to seeing Daddy racing? Uh, oh, a good big crash. <laughs> well, I'm sure uh, Daddy could do that. You've seen it plenty of times before, I'm sure. <laughs> and uh, James, back to yourself. Uh, I'm sure the team uh, still in good strength. Always good to see him down here in... Uh, England and uh, have you got any more meetings planned for this year? I'm just uh, coming and going as a please. We've done Kings Lynn for the cycle here today. We've done a bit at Stoke. I like Stoke's not as far for us. It's only five hours, which is still a fair trek. But I just I watch the calendar. It's not like 30 and 40 meters a year anymore for me. Maybe 15 at the tops. But we've got local tracks at Lock Girl and that. But I like coming down here. This is like summer for us in Scotland. <laughs> and, <laughs> and the repairs of the car, how do you find them? They Caprice and Cortina is all right to repair. What I find is just hit something as hard as you possibly can, then you don't have to fix it. Just have a beer and go home. <laughs> well, there we go. That's uh, James, Mr. Grumpy Dylan there, and uh, looking forward to a good day here at Swatham. Well, here we go then. Gary, this is your sort of meeting today, I'm sure of that. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been like in the proper bangers, but good to get back in them, you know. And for you race at Swatham quite regularly, uh, it must be amazing to see a national banger meeting like this here but um, following on from last year it deserves it doesn't it? Yeah to be fair when I first started here it was obviously post and wires then so no, it was always good turnout always good cars and to race like a normal domestic meeting there's not many cars here to have the cars like last year and this year so good good for the track you know it's a good track to just go to waste. Now the car um, tell us a bit about it and where it's come from. Can't really say that, can I? <laughs> um, it's just a Mark III Cortina. Um, buddy James built the car, and I got it off the worm from Kent. Went and got up Wednesday night. Now, there's quite a few. Um, there's one or two drivers here, like yourself and Ryan Nutton over there, who take part in banger racing here on a on a weekly basis. There's a few more uh, different names thrown in today, but would that be a, a different kettle of fish for you, or same as? No, not really. At the end of the day, they're all the same behind the wheel, and it's just bigger names, all the same cars. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's what racing's about. I've been there. I've been doing it since when I was 15, you know, I'm now touching 30 now, but it's nothing changed, is it? Just people get younger, that's all. Now, uh, you've had quite a bit of success um, recently as well, uh, around, especially at Star Tracks, and um, I'm sure that's improved your confidence now you're back in racing as well. Yeah, a bit, you know. It's, I, I took some time out from, from like the big cars through family reasons, really, and the little Honda's just easy to get and, and you know but I've got a lot of stuff now I've, I've got a lot of big cars so this next year is my year to come back and have a good good year I don't know and a brilliant looking car I mean the effort of it is fantastic the paint job's superb as well and uh, I'm sure what are your aims for today you, are, we, are we racing or are we crashing like I said I've had some time off it's back to my old self so watch out them boots you know <laughs> well there we go uh, Gary Lown uh, certainly sending out a warning here at Swaffham this afternoon we look forward to seeing him on track so here we are then uh, star of the moment 85 James Ellis you had a cracking meeting at this one last year back for some fun this time in a Capri yeah she's, she's quality she's my best car <laughs> but you had a good crash and uh, it's good to meet up with some old friends as well I know you get uh, along with plenty of drivers from mainland Europe and uh, be out there to team up with them to take, take on some challenges? Oh, I wouldn't say team up with them, not in that colour. <laughs> <laughs> but you're out there, Mark French also joining you today. 
it's been a, it's been a good partnership so far in the last couple of years. But um, this is what it's all about for you, rear-wheel drive, isn't it? Yeah, it's old school. It's proper cars, proper racing. Everyone's here for the same same game. I'm not too sure how long the Capri's going to last you today, but uh, I'm sure you'll be putting it to good use along the way. We'll try. As long as the engine stays running and the wheels are pointing in the right direction, we'll keep it out there. We'll try and keep it out there. <laughs> is there any drivers in the pits here today that take your fancy for a crash? There's one or two, but I ain't going to mention any names. See if we can put the uh, driving to the, to the talking. <laughs> But obviously, like you said, rear-wheel drive, yeah, cover the denim, cover the denim. But this is what it's all about, isn't it? I mean, your dad loves rear-wheel drive. It's always good to have him knocking about as well. I haven't seen him yet today, but this is where it all started for yourself. Yeah, this is my first meeting here, and yeah, Mark II Escort, and I'm loving it from there on. Well, let's just hope that the Capri will last out for a good couple of races at least, and you get a good couple of crashes out there. Yeah, we'll give it a go, are not we? You got to top your performance from last year anyway. <laughs> well, one race. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. James Ellison here at Swaffham Raceway today. We look forward to seeing what he's got out on track for the second year running. Well, here we go. We've got Jerry Ansel with us, otherwise known as Bleach. Bleach had a cracking meeting here last year and come back for the same again. It was more luck than judgment last year, <laughs> definitely. It was definitely more luck. But um, just have a laugh this year, see what happens. You were throwing the old uh, estate around last year, like no man's business, and uh, you are going well in the races, and the DD as well, so same again, I'm sure. That'll be a bad day today. <laughs> if I had a good meeting last year, it's going to be pants today, innit? It'll definitely be pants. <laughs> no. But you obviously come back for a reason. It's proper old school racing, innit? It's good. It's a good laugh. And that's right up your valley, isn't it? Old school, rear-wheel drive, you can't beat it. It's brilliant, innit? Just have a laugh. Absolutely, you can certainly have a laugh in this and that's what we're expecting today from you. Yeah, be laughing, we just see what happens and, well, I've got next year's car already, so we'll be here next year, <laughs> so. But, so, obviously it takes the imagination, you're already planning in for next year, so it must be one of your favourites in the calendar. you got to look ahead for a Cortina, aren't you? You never turn them down, you never turn them down, they're definitely good, so. Remember any faces from last year you want to owe one to, or uh, are you just going out of there and anyone? I don't remember what I've done last week, so <laughs> there ain't nothing new with that. Just just go and have a laugh, innit? Just if there's anyone in front, just beat them out of the way and go through. Well, the only other thing I would say is that you want to ask what your pit crew were saying that when we were asking for you earlier. You want to hear what they were saying about you. are awful. I don't know what they're saying, but they're all out on day release, aren't they? <laughs> so you know what they're like. You've got him there with the shave dead, he's not sure, I'm not sure what he's out for. you got Wiggy, oh there's Kenny, who's just Kenny, and Gromit's probably hiding somewhere eating a load of chocolate. So I don't know where they've gone. <laughs> the bleach folk, the bleach, bleach group, isn't they? Jerry, we wish you the best for today, mate. No and uh, good luck out there, and we'll see you next year. Hopefully next year, yeah.
265 is running in second, but Trevor's well away here, very Stephens driver, coming through to get the three lap board from Madam Star to Natalie, where is 265, there he is in second, that's uh, Stuart Foster, but I don't think he's going to catch Trevor, and it doesn't really look as though there's enough left out there to stop Trevor either, so two laps to go, on his way, 265 in second, and then running through in third, 523. Some of these are looking a little bit worse for wear, although Trevor still looking very, very thin and well as he comes through to take the last lap board. Will he going to dispatch the back marker as he goes? No glancing blow, that will do. Uh, but he safely passed him. This is a very quick car, isn't it? That estate of his. So he goes down the far side for the last time. And he knows he is going to be in the final. Mind you, anyway, who finishes is going to be, I think. Because the top five will qualify. And we have seven running as things stand at the final stages of this. So the red flags come out to complete the entertainment on race number one. Trevor Buckley.
timeline one having uh, recovered, although he could be in some more trouble now over on the pins turn. Yeah, in hard he goes just by Madame Starzl. Yes, that's where they will come from, that's me. So uh, it's now Dean Mays who's taken up the running in 7 3 0. And he wins lots of races over the East Angel Raceway and elsewhere. But uh, again, most notable for his successes uh, here at Swaffham and uh, with Speedwork as well. The original leader, the Pollard Lemner, is having all sorts of problems now. Now the far side, now he's got some more as the new leader, Dean Mays, tips him out. And here goes a white one heading hard for the fence. Oh, that was hard. That was a uh, nice looking car. Oh, here come some others to join in too. So that was possibly the hit of the day so far. Although probably joined by his blue 290, although he's hanging on time, he's not going. Meanwhile, there's just three laps left to run for Dean. Is he still there? Yeah, there he goes. So Dean Ray, second three out of three laps left for him. And nobody wants to be second at the moment. In the end, there he is, who gets second. So two laps left for Dino. Miles and miles clear. And that's with the previous Cortina race. Not going to be many finishes, although slightly more so, these are slightly stronger cars, I think we'll find. As Dino goes across the start finish again, Ryan Attigan, five four seconds, had a spin on him on the run on the pit stone. Where so many others have as well, and there's been maybe he's a bit slippery down there. We'll see how Dino manages as he heads towards that pit stone. But the way it's cleared nice and right now, and it may be, it might be. So here comes Dino then, well done him to take the win. By the mile, 320 is currently second. Oh, he's not that far behind. So he comes through in second there at 391 and 148. And 173 is uh, amazingly managed to make top five, subject to confirmation. So good stuff there and comfortable win for one of the local stars, 730 Dean Mays. Thank you. 
said, hey, this is me, he's got a and oh, wow, we're holding the door as Jackie up on the road, uh, up on the pitch turn, and really has squashed that absolutely big time, and there's others joining in as well, but at the minute, we have clearance, no doubt he is now red man. Two levelers have really put themselves about you. 
through in the course of this. There's still not well one of them is going six eight seven. Has uh, finally pulled himself up there, which is a big surprise. The other one though, three oh five, and still running as one three oh continues to lead. Three oh five is second, and three eleven is third. So one three oh then. Uh, Dan Cook leads the way and he's just got three and a half laps left to run on this one. Be nice to get to win, especially on the day night today. And the way things stand at the moment, I think you'd have to say he's going to get the win because the nearest opposition is miles away after that victory. So Dan Cook in 1 3 0 Bex, uh, from Box Hill, not Bex Hill, uh, leads the way. 3 0 5 second, it could be over. By three eleven Gary now before the end of this. Which after all the dramas of earlier on is uh, featuring out just a little bit now towards the end, although Gary now has dispatched 305 on the far side, so that takes him up to second. And promotes 37 up into third, but uh, look at a very sorry bunch now. The hard bruise one is this, much the harder in the two heats. As Dan Cook then heads down the far side for the last time. The checkered flag awaits. And there we are, a special win for the first So well done to him, uh, Gary now. Actually, he's in the final. 3-11, he gets second. 3-7-0 comes through to third. Mark French blows up just right at the dead. Cully's there in 3-1-3. And then whatever else finishes 1-2-5. That's the fifth and final qualifying place. Scottish 
three double eight. Oh dear, how he did get it. Jerry Hayes, his teammate, two double eight. So, by a miracle, really. Well done, two double eight. Got him in there. The orange one here on the Australian over there was sitting down. That was it. Belgium friend. He's uh, not looking desperately well now, is he? Uh, that's part of the missile. And he's uh, looking even less desperately well now. He's got a great turn where he's had another spin with his troubles. Could get round the midships if he's not careful. He's very, very dusty again across the infield. But the uh, pitch turn of the missile was happening.
uh, because uh, once again it looked as though there was one heading uh, and one driving not into that general direction. There's a few others got in, but not as uh, hard as uh, several have done during the course of this afternoon. But uh, most of them going again. So just the top five from this race then to go through to this afternoon's final. The early lead. Oh, this looks like drama on the home straight for 303. Lost it just past the rostrum. Taken on the near side, but uh, while he's bent in somewhat, he still does seem to run. And he's away again. One of the sounds is Big Ben something of a moment, oh here comes to someone else to add to the moment, so the pit's turn is where it's all happening, Big Ben sadly is left stranded over there, so his race is run, Tricky Nicky has retrieved himself from there, he's back into the frame, which is all coming to be led by Big Clark, in 247, there he is in the orange green, heading down the home straight, Familiar colours, of course, uh, maybe for the damaged team. And a very, very quick drive when he gets going. Messer Salter and Big Ben still having a moment, but it's almost not Messer Salter. That's uh, three down oh, yes it is. Uh, having something to do once again with Big Ben on the pitch Ben. Big Ben sadly is now definitely being stricken. So, 247, oh, what's the last one? Oh, big car. He decided Bleach has got to go, and go he's gone. Oh, dear. Wow. So, poor old Big Ben. Oh, now, well, they're piling in again on the pins turn. Fishy it was who landed the big blow there. And it's just three laps left to run. The 247, Lee Clark, 83 is second, and 160 is third. Another one piling in the pit spin is definitely the place to have bought your tickets this afternoon. Change brewing on second, maybe, for 83 and 160. And uh, something of an exchange. Meanwhile, Lee Clark, 247. Careful through here, but safely through he goes. Take the three lap ball, well, well clear of Leach. May or may not still be second. No, 160 is now second. Shane Winter. Still get the feeling something major could happen down on that pit turn, or even more major than what already has been. 388 uh, is certainly still well and truly in the thick of it. Taylor Santa having now been dispatched by 252 Stephen Bugler. Meanwhile, Rome goes through and takes the win. So well won the hit with 247. Leach goes second in 84, possibly, and 160. Shane Windsor will be third, which may well not match to be in that position. Anyway, yet to be confirmed. But another good race, the last chance to qualify for the final. But what we do know is that Lee Clark is definitely in it. Others to be confirmed.
Hercules and Cortinas. Some big names in amongst them. Uh, Dean Mays, earlier heat winner, leads the way at the moment in 7 3 0. So I'm sure he's out there in uh, 3 4 8. Trevor Buckley in car 62. Another earlier heat winner, so is Lee Clark, 2 4 7. Alias Pro, he's there too. So everywhere you look, some potential winners in amongst the lineup here at the Swelton Raceway on 3 and 14 a day. So Dean Bay is then the early leader in 7 3 0. Second is 1 3 0. And uh, surprise, surprise, we've been fairly quiet so far. Uh, the main action obviously went on in the heat, so there'll be considerable action no doubt to come in the all comers, but uh, this is a serious race. At least the only part of it won't think you've got a chance of winning, I suppose you don't go crashing. But uh, once your chance is gone, I suppose you do, I don't know. It seems to me to be the way to do it, what do I know? Meanwhile, Dean Mays still leads the way in 7 3 0. Well, there's uh, a little bit of a set two here on the pit, sir. And uh, a bit more of a set two now. Sunny Sherman 3 4 8 has got held up on the entrance to the home straight, courtesy of last year's winner, Stephen Reynolds, who's not going to win this year. In uh, 173. Checking on his welfare actually, he may not be uh, ever so well. So Dean Mays then still leads the way through the road turn past that stricken Cortina. But so far so good for Maisy. 130. I think they will have lost second now, but that's to be confirmed as Maisie goes through, still with the lead. Lee Clark's making progress. Oh, some drama on the far side. Right, hold up, Maisie. But no, we're all parted like the Red Sea, miraculously. So through he went, but uh, then suddenly I'll oh, hope the video stayed with that. Because of the Red Sea parted, the flood stopped in after that, didn't it? And that green one is really, really looking very much the worst for wear now. So still 7 3 0. Oh, this one uh, leads the way. Second is 62, not far behind him. And 3 9 1 is 32 follows that. And there's only three laps to go. And they all, Maisie still has it. So through goes Maisie, here comes Trevor Buckley, second in 62, and third, 391, is Ben Gibson. So Sunny Sherwood, Lee Clark, it's out, uh, not anywhere among the other runners, in fact Lee Clark, he's just tipped out of second on the pins turn by Trevor Buckley. Well, he wasn't tipped out of second, he lapped actually by the second place, Trevor Buckley. That's Maisie then. Heads down the far side again. And just one lap to go. Nothing it seems Trevor Buckley can do about it. There's a certain amount of wreckage. I missed that up on the road turn. That looks like that was some sort of fun when it happened. But uh, we certainly saw what happened on the far side with that green one, which really, really is looking horrible. But coming through to win, well done, Maisie. Dean Mays, he takes the victory ahead of Trevor Buckley in 62 and 391. Just about gets there, well done, hit Ben Gibson. Then 252, then 348, 474. Some big names down among the also names, but uh, some big names in the top three as well. Congratulations to all who finished, and uh, especially congratulations to race winner, Dean Mays. Go on. 
I didn't expect Bro to put him in, to be fair. Capri, I don't know, indeed it is a Capri, is it? 
No, it's a town, it's 2C1. Anyway, number second. As we reach the final stages of this, just a lap to go then. For car number 960, Ross Windsor. Oh, five still there for second and 182 in third. On the pins turns, Mr. Tebow, meanwhile, he's trying, to, I'm not sure if he's trying to hold up the leader or what, but anyway, it hasn't worked as 960 Ross Windsor comes through and wins. All comers, one, oh five, and no time. The Netherlands comes through in second, and 182 has come through and got third. That is going to be Marvel Mates. I dare say the unofficial BB will break out now, and indeed it does, over on the pit's turn. <laughs> Any more for that? Yes, one more. There we go. Now they do nicely for the red flags to complete the entertainment. Hold oh, no. that. Left half, it's behind.
time to earn. It's turn he goes in courtesy of two degrees. So that would have rattled poor old Cunny. But uh, he's oh he comes bleach now going to set two on the home straight. Uh, just in case he doesn't make the DD, I suppose he wants to make sure he's in it. Look out. As uh, Brown goes in on bleach on the home straight as well. Stop to all of those, I should think. But uh, remember, this, there is a race still to be won here, and uh, the only rule here in against the wild one, really, the egg. But there is a race to be won here, and uh, Dean Mays is the leader of the race at the moment in 7 3 0. This looks like more. Indeed, it was more here on the home straight. It's 3 9 Here comes another one. I'm sure this is going to be part of it. No, Dino. Besides, no, not yet. There's very few left, is there? Now he's up next. It's stage left. Wow, miraculously, he's uh, got his car going again after that big launch on Bleach. And 3 9 1, he's uh, coming back to some more as well. So. All those who have still got some life left in them, and many is only four, I think, still running. Uh, 7 3 out leads, 2 5 2 is second. And 3 9 5 1 running, and he's coming back to join in as well. Some of those others are definitely not going to see another day in that open of the race. As 730 then continues on his way. 252. Running in second. I thought he was about to encounter trouble uh, from the 9 double lane Capri. That's actually up in the second now. 391 might encounter some trouble. Can see Dino down the home straight, although he's a bit in race mode at the moment. It's Dino. Just three laps left to go. If ever there was a certainty, I think this is probably it. He's going to win this. Look out on the infield as uh, 391 gets himself a bit of a ride.
right turn rather. Another one's just gone by in on the right turn. Sunny gonna look for a million something to go around his considerable way to that, but he didn't. Though the road turn seems to be where the next action may well come. Pit bed looks uh, fairly quiet as things stand at the moment. Yeah, here goes another one and another one. The other one was sunny. So the road turn already seen nearly all the action. Lots and lots is ending down by a chap. Sunny has got out of that set two on the road turn only to be set upon by Dean Mays. Uh, so, two very quick degrees, setting about each other over on that back straight. Our friend, uh, Home Five, uh, Dan Van Dyke, he's still very much part of this as well, as the T-Bow just had exactly that. Uh, on uh, the pits turn, can see a Matty Frogel, who himself now gets another portion uh, from the green and pink degree. Dean Mays and Sonny Sherwood still going. Danny Sutton is still going. Uh, Dan, Dan Van Dyke here in the orange and green and five is still going as well. So, Danny Dyke is still there. But uh, this old five is Dan Van Dyke. He really has been uh, one of the really, really entertaining drivers. Uh, I've signed with Luke Danny Sutton. Nearly up and over. Don't see a lazy on the road turn. On the pitch turn right. Lee Clark, he's still in amongst them as well, in 247. So down from 25-ish, we started to maybe half a dozen, but what's there is still quite strong for the things. Dean Mays, uh, what's he doing? He's having a put on the way. He's having a put on the way. He's turning on his own. Oh, five was going on the rampage. Mays, he going the wrong way. He's obviously got something in mind. And that was the something, although a uh, fairly minor one in the context of what's already happened. Oh, five down the far side. Is he looking for anything in particular? No. Like one. He's uh, still very much part of this as well. I think Maisie may well have Dan Van Dyke in his sights as they head up towards the road turn. Dan Van Dyke is pushed aside, but uh, will still go. So Maisie then in 7-3-0. Is he going to 
go around and finish pushing off. I think we can safely say he's won anyway, but he might as well finish it in the grand style. The floor at the top of this. I know what's going to happen. <laughs>